I mean, I couldn't wrestle, so. What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. I just watched First Match. First Match is directed and written by Olivia Newman and stars Elvery Emanuel. I, I hope I got that right, but uh, this girl's pretty good. And as always today, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and the give you my score. It's my second Netflix movie review of the day. I think I'm done. Let's talk about First Match. <laughs> This is such an interesting concept for a movie. It's a teenage girl who decides to join the boys wrestling team in Brooklyn. And going into the movie, I thought that was going to be the main plot of the film, but after watching it, I realized that this thing has a lot more depth than I thought it would have. First off, what I just told you about her doing the whole wrestling thing, that's not actually the main point of this film. The point is to show the relationships between father and daughter and so on and so forth. And this movie does actually a really good job of showing how those estranged relationships can affect you, not just in everyday life, but affect you when you're, say, doing a wrestling match. To have that willingness to do something in high school, to have that drive, whether it's sports or something else, you have to have the love, the affection, the support, whether it's your parents, your grandparents, whoever you're living with at the time, I think that's very important. It's an important message to get out. It's one I wasn't expecting from this movie, but it has very deep layered themes, and I really appreciate that for a movie that I didn't even have any anticipation level for because I didn't know it was coming out. Her relationship with her father is it's a tough thing to watch because at times they're having fun, they're enjoying each other's company, and at other times you can just see how her father is using her to do so many different things. You see that love in there, but he's just, he wants what he wants, he's used to a specific thing, and he's doing things in this movie that makes you uncomfortable as an audience member, and I know it makes her uncomfortable, but she doesn't know any better. It's her father. She's going to do what her father asks, and it's just, it's a sad thing to see, but I think it's something very important. And I didn't have a problem with any of the actors in here. They were all really good whether it's a supporting role or the main character or even just the most obscure side character, the coach. I just, I liked everyone in this movie. It felt real. It felt down to earth, a little gritty at times, and I really appreciated that. Last week, a movie called Roxanne, Roxanne came out. I didn't get a chance to review it immediately. I just watched it recently, and I actually ended up enjoying that movie quite a bit. This is kind of on that same level for me. I didn't expect much. I went in, I watched it, and you know what? It's a really cool drama. Well, not cool in terms of, oh yeah, it's the most fun I've ever had, but it's deep, it's emotional, it affects you. I just think this story is going to resonate with a lot of people, whether you're black, white, it doesn't matter what color you are, who you are going into this film. It's a story for everybody, and you have that added bonus of a girl who ends up on a boys wrestling team taking people down. Now that aspect is something that I think was lacking a little bit. I'll get into that here in a second, but I still think it was really cool to see, and man, she can, she can take some people down. Now, I still enjoyed this movie, but there are some things in here that I think bring it down a little farther than I wanted to when I first started watching the film. First off, uh, the first 10, 15 minutes, I didn't know if I was getting into it or not because it starts off a little choppy, but it slowly finds its footing and I appreciate that. There's a montage at about the 30, 35, 40 minute mark that I think skips a lot of things, a lot of very important things. Relationships start to develop. You don't really know her win-loss record at this point. It's just the montage of, oh, she's wrestling. Now she has friends. She's joined the team. You know, the typical thing in movies like this. I just, I wish it wouldn't have been a montage. Maybe a few things, but I really think they needed to hit on these things a little bit harder. And like I said before, I really enjoyed the wrestling aspect, but I wanted to see more of it. I mean, that is kind of the sub-focus of the movie, but they didn't really put as much focus on that. They focused on the relationships, which I think is great, but I think there could have been a little bit better balance. And then you get to the end. Here, here's my biggest problem with the film. The ending is going to work for some people, but you know those open-ended endings? Open-ended endings? Sure. Where you really just want to see what happens next, but the director comes out and says, Oh, this is how it should have ended. This was what was meant for the audience to wonder what goes on. And here's what I'll say. I like what they did at the end, but I did not want it to be the end. There's a little bit of a build-up for something throughout the film, and the movie ends before you get a chance to see that build-up. Now, it has nothing to do with the relationships. I think all of those things were kind of capped off, not perfectly, but capped off well. Once again, I'll just say without spoiling anything, the movie lacks a little bit of the wrestling aspect. 
hard one to give a score to. There are things that could have been done to make the movie a lot better, but I was surprised. I think the movie impressed me more than I thought it was going to. I'm going to give First Match a 65%, a very solid watch on Netflix. I guarantee you guys, if you go in open-minded, you're going to get something out of it, whether it's an emotional spark or just a really cool story about an interesting character played by a really good actress. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. Go check out my other Netflix review that I came out with this morning called The Titan, and I also reviewed Ready Player One the other day. That is oh, that's a good movie. You should watch that. And today's comment spotlight comes in from a longtime subscriber of mine, Mega Movies. I, I just thought this was so funny. He said to be super meta, he watched my Ready Player One review with his PlayStation VR. I cracked up. I had to pin that comment because it was so funny to me. Thank you guys so much for liking my videos. It helps out so much. For commenting on my videos. I love conversation. If you watch this movie, whether you liked it or you hated it, start a conversation. I want to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I will catch you later.